Good evening, everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful evening. I am here. I enjoyed my little break, and now I'm back to work on some highlights and hang out with you all. As I said, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and a good day today. I'm excited to just, you know, be back in my normal clothing and start working on some uh, some highlights. It's nice to not have to deal with the big costume anymore. Uh, or at least it's nice to see my normal model again is what I'm trying to say, you know? Anyways, uh, highlights should not take too long. We don't have much to highlight. Just a little bit from, uh, last highlight stream. Hey, Yuki! Thanks for the resub. Glad to see that's working well. It's a little hard to see, but you, it's there. It worked. And I'm glad to see that all of the overlay is working very well. So I'm pretty happy about that. Oh, I forgot that changes with the seasons. So it's in full on fall weather on there now. Olive Ridley Turtle. Nice catch. So as always, we will be here today to work on some highlights. If I finish quickly, I might move on to something else because uh, we'll probably just have some extra time because I only have three streams to highlight. It is fall. It's been fall for a little bit now. Oh, it doesn't feel like fall. Oh, fair enough there. It's starting to feel like fall where we're at. If I turn this all the way up, what's it sound like? Almost like two weeks as of today. Okay. And uh, I'm just, yeah, I'm just tired. So I'm going to be taking a break. Okay, yeah, that's just, yep. Anyways. It's still like 70 for you. I mean, yeah, it's been like the 50s to 60s for us. But, uh, you know, we haven't had a 70 in a little bit. So that's been nice. Uh, but welcome back. Welcome back, as always, to the Hall of Beats. So we can chat, chat, chat about uh, updates for the week. As I have announced in Discord, I have a special stream for tomorrow. And if you want to hear what that special stream is, make sure to check out my Discord. Uh... And then let's just keep going over the whole schedule for the week. So like I said, tomorrow, special, special stream starting a little bit late at six o'clock instead of five. After that, on Thursday, we will be diving back into the edginess that is Shadow Generations. It's not actually that edgy. It's super fun to play through. I mean, Shadow is the edgiest part and he's not even like at full Shadow Edge. Uh, Friday will be grinding our way through some archive ranks in Dead by Daylight. So that's going to be fun. And then Saturday, we're going to play even more Sonic or Shadow Generations. If I haven't beaten the game by then, if I've beaten Shadow Generations by Friday, then we're just going to immediately go back to DVD. We'll see. Uh, because I want to save replaying, at least replaying for me through Sonic Generations, the remake of it for what I have now announced as the Seg Extra Ex Sega Ganza. It's a birthday Ex Sega, Ex Sega Ganza, if that makes sense. So me being a super fucking big Sega fanboy is planning to, uh, you know, turn my entire birthday month of December into nothing but Sega by adding on to our normal Yakuzmas. <laughs> I think that'll be a fun way to uh, really make it feel like a big celebration of my birthday and also just, you know, enjoying what I want to enjoy. And there are so many games that I can include under Sega. Do you know what company is owned by Sega now? It's Atlas. Anything published by Atlas counts as Sega now. <laughs> so I could get back into Persona 3 and count it as Sega. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking plenty of Sonic, uh, playing more Yakuza. Uh, you know, there's the 12 hours of Yakuzmas. Wonder if Dan Green will reprise his role as Mephiles, if it even is Mephiles. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, 
what other things? Monkey Ball, Crazy Taxi, uh, Earl and Toe Jam, all sorts of stuff. Alex the Kid. Tons of Sega stuff for me to possibly, possibly play during December. And I've been making a list for this. So, yeah. Anyways, do I have any other updates? Let's be fair. He is one of the best Sonic villains. I guess. I mean, the only big Sonic villains I can think of are Shadow, who's more of an anti-villain or an anti-hero. He doesn't really count. Uh... Metal Overlord, who was okay. Eggman, the number one. Nobody tops Eggman. He is just the main villain, and he's wonderful. Uh, let's see. What was his name? In- Infinite, who's garbage. I mean, he's fun, but he's garbage. Iblis, who's barely a character. Uh, Black Doom, who I would happily rate above uh, Mephiles. I mean, I don't know. I Black Doom is at least interesting. So I'd definitely rate him higher than like Metal Overlord and Mephiles, personally. Ooh, Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic is definitely second. I don't count Shadow as a villain. He's more like an anti-hero. Have I played 06? Yes. Yeah. Here's the thing. I'm saying if Sonic had better villains, Mephiles wouldn't be one of the best. That's what I'm trying to say. He's still one of the best, but I'd still rate like Metal Sonic and uh, Eggman over him. Then again, Metal Sonic, I'm biased by like the comics and other media. But yeah, I played 06. I don't think 06 is that bad, but its story needs some work, you know? It's mostly its gameplay that's bad. And even then, it's promising. It's just didn't, you know, turn out good, sadly that to leave page what are you talking about <laughs> maria maria funny to me are you then i die all right i left it all the way up i should probably slow down <laughs> i should probably <laughs> slow down their slogan is that is it there we go or it used to be dude i don't know gun? <laughs> what's their slogan what him with a gun Shadow the Hedgehog, part one. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? Hedgehog. I was about to say. It. That's a good. That's a good <laughs> title for that. On TM, I'm gonna put that. <laughs> You're not you when you're hungry. What a. That was a very good slogan. I will say. Like that's a ten out of ten slogan. <laughs> gun and bike. I'll just snap into the gun, slim gym. What the fuck is the Snickers? Oh slogan? yeah, like, snip into a slim gym. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rengoku, what's up? I'm back. Out of costume this time. Snip into a Slim Jim I love is my a good one. Buck pride fan. Oh, yeah, and then I was talking about that. Orbot and Cubot have different personality. Oh, Buttercup. <laughs> what a sweet nickname. Mephiles is a number two for you because he was the only character to kill Sonic and no one has done it since Eggman is number one because while well, he's Eggman. Okay, but like you can kill Sonic and still be a very bad villain. Not like when I say bad, I don't mean like. Oh, he's not good at being a villain. When I say he's not like top villains, I mean like he's. Like. Not that well written. Can you boil Eggman? I mean, you can, but you're not going to get a hard-boiled egg. You're just going to get a very bloody soup. It's a rather unpleasant thought, actually. Listed through that entire section, so... Uh... Oh, yeah, Lena... Uh, yeah, I know, right? Lena and I recently watched... <sighs> Pearl. A movie called Pearl that came out recently. It's the prequel to a movie named X, which I have not watched because 
I don't fucking want to, but Lena has, and she really enjoyed it. But yeah, it, those are very much like 18 plus movies, horror movies, definitely. Rated R. Pearl Pearl is not that scary of a movie. It's just I was I was so uncomfortable the whole time. Okay, Yuki, how about this? Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Yuki, how about this? If I thought the writing of the story of Sonic 06 was better, I would probably rate Mephiles somewhere around number two or three. Does that does that sound better? It's not that I think Mephiles is a bad villain or a bad idea for a villain. It's that I think Mephiles himself got the shit end of the stick of being in a game with bad writing. Infinite, I think, is just a bad villain. Like, not only is he stuck in a game that's written shittily, He's also just not done well. Like he's done very poorly. Let's be honest here. Mephiles, I think, is at least a fun concept for a villain. I just don't think they wrote him well enough. I <laughs> held that back. Holy shit, that was terrifying. Okay, cool. Because I, I, I want it to come across that I respect your opinion on Mephiles. And I think you have a good opinion on Mephiles. I just can't agree because of the writing of the game. Well, I'm glad you did. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I'm looking at my chat box and wondering if I need to make some adjustments to it. I don't know. Let me let me take a look at my chat box real quick. Uh, let's go down to overlay widgets, chat. Is there a way to make everything bold? Oh, there totally is. I know that just reset chat, but let me let me see how that looks now. Yeah, that's better. That's definitely better. It's not perfect, but that's way better. I've actually, I gotta be honest, I have actually been very happy with uh, using the chat box that Mix It Up has available for me. Uh, I just, well, it, it looked like everything wasn't as easy to read as it used to be. Like so bolding seems trail. to help, which is what I expected. I have to say, I really do love the controls of Shadow Generations. They are very good controls. Feels so good to play. They're smooth. Dude, Shadow Generation's controls are smooth. I'm just bad at moving in 3D spaces. Very quickly. There we go. And then we just sit there and watch my own gameplay for a while. To be fair, you can never this be certain how good a Sonic... Uh, the writing of 06 wasn't the best, but despite that, he was one of the best things from that game, but he would never appear in the main line Sonic games because the events of 06 were erased from the main timeline. Were they, though? Because, like, Silver still exists. And, like, even Sonic and Shadow Generations both confirmed that it happened. So... I don't know that they were necessarily erased from the main timeline as much as they were acted like they didn't happen. You know? I mean, I guess 06 did kind of have the issue of it tried to end Shadow's storyline again. So that's actually, no, you may be right. Yeah, he really did try to do that. You know what I hate, though? That there's, like, two different timelines for main Sonic timeline now. There's 2D Sonic, 
and 3D Sonic, which is stupid. And I hate Sonic Forces for doing that. Because, oh my god, Sonic Generations does not do that. I don't know where in their head they were like, we need to make it to where Sonic Forces has Sonic 2D Sonic come back. You know what it could be? It could be that Sonic Mania is not actually part of the main timeline. You know? That could be what it really is. I would accept that. But I don't like the idea that all of 2D Sonic leads into a different timeline from 3D Sonic, you know? I hate that. I hate that idea. That's a bad idea that forces essentially made up on the spot. Because Sonic Generations directly says 2D Sonic is the predecessor to 3D Sonic. You do not have this without leading into this. Mania and Forces, for some reason, says they're coexisting timelines. And 2D Sonic does not lead into 3D Sonic, which I think is stupid. Like, I adore Mania. That's, a, that's the dumbest fucking plot point it has ever put in any timeline. Game is going to be... I know what game Kingdom Valley the level is from. We're into your jumps. I will say 3D Sonic does not do as good of a job of having your momentum carry into your jumps. Got it. I wish it did, but it just does not. Oh, fuck yeah. I expected it to be called something like Doom Rider, you know? Doom oh, Rider. I j th there is something uh, still so okay. funny to me about Doom Surf. I just got finally back into it. <laughs> I was Since the hub world is a timeless space, the events of 06 could still exist in that world. Mainly because main generations has Crisis City. Is Crisis... Crisis City. Yeah, that's the future one. From 06. Yeah. Yeah. I I would I wouldn't even be mad if 06 was still considered part of the main timeline. I just I wish it could be remade and be done a lot better, but yeah, I I don't I wouldn't be mad about that. I would be mad that they then have to retcon because they tried to say that Shadow Amy and O or Shadow Rouge and Omega just get stuck in the future and are kind of just killed off, you know? Or at least Shadow is. It's, it's dumb. That, that part is really stupid. Time travel stories are very convoluted. Yeah, I I want I want to wait for that to be completed. Like all the levels are done. Even if there's going to be more updates, I want to wait for all the levels to be done and then I'll play it. Anyways, I didn't really see anything that interesting from uh last week's highlights vod, so let's move on to the next vod, which was the last second to last parts of uh of uh Pizzeria Simulator. So, for some reason, Microsoft just muted the mic, but I think I got it to be working again. <laughs> Time travel's a bitch. Looking at you, Dragon Ball. Look, as much as I adore the Cell Saga, it cannot be my favorite because how the time travel works in that annoys me now. Also, also, looking at you fucking... MCU, fuck you for pulling the whole, oh yeah, the MCU, if you go back in time, you go to a different timeline. And then having Captain America go directly back in time. 
I don't, you cannot explain it both ways, MCU. Okay? If you explain it as, if you go back in time, you affect our time, you are only going back in our timeline and you affect it, so we have to make sure there are zero changes made. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. If you want to do, if we go back in time, we are affecting, we are creating other timelines. I don't mind that either. You cannot choose to do both. Okay, MCU? That's not how this works. And I'm going to fucking call you out on that shit. Yeah. In both ears? No, wait, yeah. one second. When did I see Orville for the first actually, time? Actually, you know what? I'm actually doing predictions. A lot of money. I did not have that unlocked yet to be able to see Orville. I got surprisingly good at this. Like, oh my god. Do that one again. I need to do whatever I want. <laughs> what? Or should we go... Do whatever oh, I want. What the fuck am I saying? Oh, fuck yeah. Look at my revenue coming in. Oh, shit. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> I did, but I don't know Code Geass well enough. So, sorry. I got so much money to do whatever I want. Oh, that's what I was talking about. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Right there. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Look at my revenue coming in. Oh, shit. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> I, when it comes to Pizzeria Simulator, I'm such a greedy fucking capitalist. Oh, like, oh my God. I got so much money to do whatever I want. Like, uh, buy a new animatronic. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> but it's so cheap. He is. Look at him, Lena. He's definitely <laughs> got something horribly deadly inside of him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Ned Bear. Well, look at that price tag. Oh, I might just have to. Oh. Uh. Revenue coming in. Shit! I, I adore myself, but I'm such a greedy yeah. little fucking capitalist pig <laughs> in this game. I got so much money to do whatever I want. I got so much money to do whatever I want. Uh, also, Mephiles could come back to the main timeline if they changed his story. Dude, all you have to do is like make minor tweaks to the entirety of the story of 06, and you could have 06 work in the main timeline. That's what I'm trying to say. There are only minor changes you need to make to that story. Like one... Don't trap Omega, Rouge, and Shadow in a future where they're basically destined to die. Uh, two. Uh, don't make it a fucking time loop story. Time loop stories are the fucking worst. And three. Uh, I don't know. I. I don't know, man. I, I hate stories where the whole idea is you, like you have to go back in time and create a time loop to create a better future. You know? I hate that. That's that's really dumb. Uh, anyways. Like, uh, buy a new animatronic? Oh, fuck. But it's so cheap. He is. Look at him, Lena. He's definitely got something horribly deadly inside of him. Oh, yeah. 
But look at that price tag. Oh, I might just have to. I love how <laughs> Orville the elephant yeah, really did become my favorite animatronic. For, uh, Ned Bear, who's very dangerous. Uh, or should we go for Mr. Hippo, the one that everybody hates because he just won't shut the fuck up. I relate heavily to Mr. Hippo. Okay. Lena. All Lena ever talks about when she talks about me and how she sees me in other characters is that I do not shut the fuck up. I relate so heavily to Mr. Hippo. Hippo got it. <laughs> oh, I should name this like tough choice. I know. Tough choice. I know. Uh, where's the moment where I talk about Orville? Like, where's the moment where I first see Orville? That's what I want to find. Jesus, Twitch. You got to get way fucking better on this. Back to Daisy. Oh, there it is. Oh, the Neon Party set is actually really good for health and safety. I just, I love Orville. Look. Really fine. Together. Look. The Walmart. Look. When do I, I gotta find where I unlock it. Bonus. <laughs> Cleaning and... Okay, come on. Because that's probably when I see I... Orville, and I know I reacted like, <gasps> Orville! No. Right about here. Rare finds auction! Holy shit, confetti tile floor. Oh my god! <laughs> it's all so expensive. Gravity vortex! And Orville. <laughs> and Orville. Prize King. Oh, I <laughs> the secondary stage now. I have some money burning a hole in Right about here should be good. So let's go ahead and I have some money burning a hole in my pocket, so you know what I'm gonna buy? Oh, I can get this secondary stage now. <laughs> My unhealthy adoration for Orville is what I'm titling this one. Rare fine gravity vortex and Orville and Orville prize king. <laughs> So expensive. Gravity, Gravity vortex. vortex. I was like, oh my god. And Orville. And Orville. And then we'll just skip ahead to the next time I talk about Orville. Lena is the only person I know that hates pickles. I still can't believe Lena hates pickles. Like, come on, Lena. What's wrong with you? Everyone loves pickles. Only five dollars! This king. Tell me I can't get right about here. <laughs> Unavailable. Oh, you're telling me I can't get the fucking pickles? Come on. It just makes people happy. Why do you hate your psychology classes? Asked a person who uh, loved psychology so much they got a five on the AP exam. Yeah, let me just brag about how much I adored and understood psychology. That I took the college exam and got a five. The highest score. <laughs> Sorry, go on.
Let me quit being an asshole. Please go on. Happy, except for Lena. <laughs> except for I Lena. Like pickles. I'm really quiet because I'm like focusing on trying to figure out what I want to, what makeup I want to do on Friday. Nah, you're fine. I guess you find psychology boring. That's fair. I can get lefty. And then That's I have totally to figure out fair. what your makeup's going to be on Friday. And then I have to figure out how, what I'm going to wear. And then I have to figure out. Oh. Never for the right things. Right. I bought lefty, which was. Great. It's time for. I know, right? Their parents are going to hate us. Hey, man. You consented. And they chose. It's like a magic trick. The parents let the kids go up there. Oh. They've consented to whatever the fuck. Uh, no, I just didn't realize the thing. I'll literally Let's die see. without Grab it. Grab that. Hannibal. I'm gonna die. Damn it, I went out of bounds again. I lost track of where I was. Okay, no. Uh, let's just keep going on this. The atmosphere. Meet my <laughs> Oh! ASMR of me coming over. <laughs> prize king. God damn, prize king is great for. The party set is actually really good for health and safety. Because he always acts like he's not listening to me, but his ASMR. fucking ears. Where the fuck was that? Hannibal, come join me. We're going to eat carbs. Carbs? Carb eating time. It is time for carbs. You're gonna hate us. Is there a bunch of rotten rice in there? No. Where I was. Polishing it down. Mike. ASMR of me coming over all the fucking money I'm gonna make. I'm gonna get so much fucking money. Add hundred dollars into you? adding a coin. Out of bounds again. I lost track of where I was. Hey. <laughs> hey, hundred dollars. You know what I'm putting that hundred dollars into? <laughs> adding a coin slot, and then <laughs> cleaning and polishing it to add to the atmosphere. I'm gonna get so much fucking money. I'm gonna get so oh, much fucking so money. ASMR of me scraping the bottom of the rice. <laughs> Meet my mic. ASMR of me ASMR coming of over me all the money I'm gonna get. Oh! Fucking money I'm gonna make. What the fuck is wrong oh. with me? <laughs> oh! <laughs> you know what it might be time for because it's gonna get me a set bonus? Um. <laughs> That's right. It's the most dangerous item in here right now, except for Lefty. Ned Bear! Yay. I'm sorry, I know, he's dangerous. I just, I, I adore the fucking uh, ASMR of me coming to all the money I'm gonna make. Why is it the Russians that do crazy shit? Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Because if it's political, we're not getting into it because I don't feel like marking my stream as political. But if you're talking about a news story I heard about today, yes, I know, right? Insane. Otherwise, not talking about it. Hey, $100, you know. <laughs> Where was the next time I talked about Orville? And I was like, I can get Orville now. Oh, right. I was saving my money for Orville. It's... They want... Nice. Amazing. Oh, fuck. I wouldn't have no fucking... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's all I'd love to get. I would love... Add a new one right here.
Classic conditioning, you know Ivan Pavlov. I would love to buy Orville. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot he was Russian. Yeah, that's an insane experiment. Like, that's that's crazy. That is torture. That entire experiment was torture. Like, I love how studying psychology is, first off, here's a bunch of experiments that helped us come to understand the brain and how it functions and such, followed immediately by, here's why each of those experiments was fucking horribly unethical. Here's why none of these experiments will ever be repeated. You know? That is what, that is what it's like to study psychology. It is an immediate jump from, here's an example of an experiment exemplifying this idea and why we no longer do any experiments like that. Yeah, it turns out when you have a bunch of kids mimic aggression uh, by beating up a thing, it fucks them up in the head. <laughs> and just set them up where Lefty is right now. I love Lefty, but I would love to replace him as well. Abilities now. <laughs> but I would love to replace him right now. I love Lefty, but I would love to replace him as well. And then I make so much money. Oh! So close. Candy. I got nowhere Damn. close to the jackpot on that. And lived in fear that but yeah, there is 90% 90% of uh, like historical psychological experiments uh, are non-repeatable because they almost immediately led to that person like being like called out as a horrible person for what they did. I forgot they did that. Okay. To be fair, to be fair to Russia on that one, they worship that dog. They knew that was going to be a sacrifice of that dog's life. And they respect that dog's sacrifice. We sent like 500 monkeys up into space and we didn't give a single shit about it. It was not actually 500 monkeys. It was like 10 monkeys that we all shot into space and let die. And we didn't care. You don't see a statue for any of those monkeys. There's entire shrines to that dog. You know? Not that it makes it right, but like, they cared. They didn't just shoot it up into space going, let's see what happens. What I'm trying to say is they did it way more respectfully than we ever did for any of our animal astronauts. Non-human astronauts. Shit, that got me a lot of money. The five body with oh yeah, I got the story time. And lived in fear that someone might break into the... Hey. The one... I have one more play test going a little too far. Okay. I have one more play test going. Let's do another candy cadet. I am a candy You'll be right back. Okay. Come get your candy here. I have candy all The day. one set Every they day. come in is is $165. Candy. Holy candy. shit. Now I will hey, tell that, you a <gasps> I got a story! <laughs> I got a story! I was so excited. The man lived alone and lived in fear that someone might break into the house. Because dog is best man's best friend. Monkeys are viewed as lesser versions of us, which is entirely bullshit. Okay, no, but like, I get that. That is that is a fair argument to make on that. But also like. They just actually viewed it as a sacrifice of an animal. You know? 
we didn't. We just saw it as, yep, we're just doing an experiment. Fire the monkey off into space. Let it die. It was it was all about perspective. It's not necessarily just because it was an animal that people like more. That's all I'm trying to say. One of the five children. So mm-hmm. he adopted all five mm-hmm. and brought them together mm-hmm. in one place in his own home. Mm-hmm. He promised them to never leave them. Mm-hmm. And they promised to always come home and never stay out too late. He left one day to buy food. His- but you know, no, you make a very valid point, And that can be an argument on why they're so respectful about it. But there's there's way more to it than just it was a dog. There's definitely they had a different viewpoint of this dog is a hero for helping us accomplish this. Whereas we saw it as these monkeys are tools for us to kill in order to make it safe for humans to go up. Tart being filled with gladness, but returned to find that the burglar had chosen his home and killed all five of the children. The man could only afford one coffin, so he stitched the five bodies together to make one, and buried the child. Oh. There was a knock at the door. Yeah! Holy shit, that got me a lot of money. Okay, now to find my next moment of unhealthy obsession with Orville. Oh, buddy. You're not my buddy. Oh, am I surrounded again already? Like, Jesus Christ. I don't remember. Did I cheat in this game or was it only in Sister Location? I don't think I actually cheated in this game. I think I just pulled it off. Miss Hawthorne was planning here before I come up. Okay, fuck it. We'll test it. Then the... Yeah, I was saving my money so I could buy Orville. And then I did it. Come on, I'm gonna win big... Oh yeah, this is after I won. Fun time cheat. I oh. care about now. Oh, God. <laughs> Remember that deck I might like? It is very a very defensive playstyle. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Ah, oh, it's wonderful. Ah. Oh. What fun. I have enough for Orville. Uh, uh, Build to take the stage. It's mediocre melody time. Woo! <laughs> oh God, another sponsorship offer for $5,000. There we go. Now it is done. Uh, And then let's go ahead and see about that sponsorship for $5,000 moment, because that's pretty funny. For $5,000. Hey, welcome back. Get the fuck out of here, Lefty. It's time for Orville to take the stage. It's mediocre melody time. Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Another sponsorship offer for $5,000. I'm such a whore for money in these games. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it. 
takes the sponsorship. It'll bite me in the ass later, but that's not what I care about now. I'm going to give me a new floor. <laughs> uh, who would win if these two faced off against each other? Uh, Ryo Bakura or Jaden Yuki? That is that Bakura from Danganronpa? Or am I crazy? No, that's that's Yu-Gi-Oh Bakura. Duh. Jaden. Yeah. It's just Jaden. I love Bakura. No. He's not that powerful. Jaden Jaden got the power of literally having custom cards. Bakura does not stand a chance. I'm sorry. I mean, that's probably what you wanted. You you are a fan of Jaden. I mean, duh. You named yourself Yuki. Okay, that's enough highlights for this one. Do 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 do. Do 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 Bad dog, don't contradict your master. I had a burp that almost happened and then it didn't. Okay, let's uh let's get back into it. So I wound up going through so many like attempts and I just gave up and then we had to wait through so many loading screens. And then it was time for DBD. I'm ready. I'm ready. Can I'm this? ready. With all balls deep in his own mouth. Yeah. And his nuts. We're talking about like two Hannibal. What the fuck? And I wasn't sure if that was directed at me when I was trying to explain the map thing or if you were talking about like to Hannibal. Oh, I don't know. Probably Hannibal. I think he's right here looking his nuts. <laughs> he's right here. Nuts deep. Balls deep, deep, in, balls his deep in his own mouth. Yeah. What a way to phrase it. Oh, man. What a way to talk about my roommate's cat. Yay, Chatronic. Make sure. uh, Black Ops 6 zombie is fun. Nice. I wish I was interested in Black Ops 6 at all because I know there's going to be a lot of people playing it. And I just do not care, personally. Uh, yeah, I cannot get them. They're on to me. That's okay. I just need him to stay on you. Woo! Hi. Luckily, you're easy to save because I don't have to heal you. Oh, no, 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 no. I think they lost me for a moment. I'm hiding in the truck. Man. I don't know how I pulled off Ow. that chase. Uh-oh. Don't they give you extra blood points? Provides 100% blood point bonus to... Dude, Singularity is so All haunted so by daylight like score events. He really is, like, so fucking oppressive, I, I swear to God. Uh, but, I mean, you got... If it's only to the haunted by daylight score events... But yeah, Haunted by Daylight in tomorrow. Sorry. I will I not like, be streaming really it tomorrow. really have the sound of dress shoes. Did I find that really funny? Oh, God. Please, 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 please get this heal. Let's see. Oh, but no. Map. Literally all Wait. the way across map. Mm. Balls. It oh, always, poor Sable. It always cracks me up how much it is never me that finds the like special thing it like it is like once Damn, in a blue moon that i find the totem the totem not just a totem the totem anytime i see a horny sable i'm gonna start calling them mabel now 
Why? Just because. Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, I know why, but I'm not going to explain why. Because it's not funny. It was just funny in my head. Oh, let me... Because of your name. My friend! I just have to... No! My friend! Happened twice in a row. You found your Valter deck you printed off? Oh, cool. Friend! My friend! Man, fuck oh, these games where I just me. have to die on hook while you lay on the floor. Just so My you friend. can get married because of your name. Those My games friend. suck. They suck a lot. Wait, he can is... you at least more? Oh, wait, no, I can't. No, yeah, he is not. Is... He's not close enough to even Please. set that off, by the way. walking hey not the bm egg what did i do okay 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 maybe i deserved it a little bit but Are it was death hook yes yeah i know <laughs> yeah i know the, the floor for a second right in front of the bathroom so b what's it like playing with lena well i die on hook so i get to watch her get married in the end game because you could do it now without any offerings it yes, makes it so much yeah, uh, I was like, oh, that's that's an interesting change. I don't mind that too much. And Lena's like, I'm going to fucking come. I have to be the last survivor now. And I'm like, Lena, can you fucking breathe and not act like this, please? Easier. Every killer sees her name and goes, that's a challenge. Oh. Yeah. Which is good I'm for so Lena because she's going to cream her pants every time it happens. But I just have to die on hook. So, <laughs> I wish I wish I was kidding, but Lena was literally like, "Wait, if I'm last to be alive, I get to be moried." Help you out. He Dude. Oh. Yeah. No, 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 Possibly not that many. Wow, I earned fuck all, but we had so much fucking blood point boosting stuff. I feel so loved. I'm gonna cry. Uh. Yeah, Lena's a monster fucker. Let me just throw that back out there. Eh, fine, you guess? Oh, well, I hope you're doing better. I will say I'm sorry that we're about to go to an ad break here in a little bit as well. Uh, all right, I need to mark that I took my medication for the day. Task completed. But yeah, Lena, Lena is always so happy to get married. And I just have to deal with the repercussions of her being happy to be married. No. Uh, cause we're highlighting it. Oof. Not great anymore. Okay, stop looking at it, or else I'm gonna throw your phone across the room. And I have to check it! No, you don't! That's called anxiety inducing. I was like refreshing the page to see your test results. Okay, fair. <laughs> but yeah, I'm highlighting the two games where I got hooked so you could get married. No, that was just I trip over my own words. Yeah, where I where I had to die on hook so you could get married. And you fucking came in your pants both times. Yay. You were literally on it, 
dead by Mori and you're like, I'm going to cry. I feel so loved the first time. And the second time you were screaming with joy. Literally screaming with joy. So. Hey, yep. Uh huh. Trying to remember if there were any other big highlightable. <gasps> the movie theater scene with the night. Oh, yeah, that was awesome. Here we go. Oh, you motherfucker, Twitch. Sounds like days where I wish I streamed my video streams, but I can't have the audio. Right. Because Xbox is dumb like that. He was the most the movie. Oh, 99 the other gin. Oh, it's already 99. No, I'm going to watch the movie. He <laughs> You're not that annoying. Movie night. <laughs> he looked at me, shook his head. Anyways, I have to go to break because it is uh, break time. We'll be back in a moment. You were just working. Why do you need to be refreshed? Uh, Actually, you know what? You have fun on the floor. New Your Honor. I dropped my controller. I didn't mean to that hit the X button there. Just, <laughs> the paired with that of the animation of him leaning forward is just so fucking funny. <laughs> it's like, mm, yes, I dropped my controller. There's a clippable moment. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, they don't know what's about to hit them. Oh yeah, this is gonna hurt a little bit. Ouchies. Yes. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Daredevil is the goat. <laughs> that was a little cheap. It was a little cheap. I didn't have to do that to him, but I just, oh, I knew it was the most sure-fired way to win. <laughs> okay, I guess, I guess we're back a tiny bit early. We're not going to do anything so nobody misses out, but, uh, Clippy broke. Gotta love it. I don't know what's been going on with Sidekick, but Sidekick is not wanted to work for me. Like, I, I, it's another one of those moments of, I keep trying to look up what to do to fix this, and all I ever get is nothing. Fuck all to do with what I'm looking for. And it's very frustrating. And then Lena's like, yeah, I mean, let me look around for like two seconds with search terms that don't make sense how they would find the answer. And there you go. And I'm like, what wizardry are you pulling here? What is your magic words to the computer? Boobies. Of course it's boobies. Motherfucker. Yeah, Lena has the magical ability to find whatever she wants when searching for something, and I have the magical ability to constantly tiptoe two feet around it. And it's very frustrating.
you can be my sidekick. Only if you know how to uh, stream clips onto my channel. Anyways, let's get back to this highlight. Dad, and then walked away. Why? I like you. Where, 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 I'm gonna go watch a movie. No, I'm gonna watch the movie. Let me drop that volume and then <laughs> we got Steve healed. Raise it back They're up going a bit. For you. I'm gonna no. go 99 the other gin. Oh, it's already 99. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like movie. Emotional. Oh yeah, they're they're doing a lot of different stuff. Them. I'm in them. I'm, I'm over. This. Oh. Aww. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? What the hell? Oh. The Give tickets, me my money back. Tickets. Tickets. I want my money back. Tickets. Give me my money back. I want the money back. <laughs> back. <laughs> Bye. In of our teeth, and we were for sure gonna lose two people if he did not like just start oh, yeah. being friendly. Yeah, we were we were for sure not getting that many people out of there. If it hadn't been for he just went, you know what? Let's have some fun in that end game. Uh, that's the only super fun stuff I remember from that. So let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, get those published. Take a moment, and then I will figure out what I want to do from here for a little bit longer in the night. Do 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 do. Do 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 What games do I have on Steam that I could just play for fun? I mean, I could just do Bloons Tower Defense for fun. I know, so many options. So many options. Oh, yeah, I added the Hollow Knight soundtrack into my uh, background music, so look forward to hearing that. Sure, let's play some balloons. Do, 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 do. God damn it. Okay, one second here. <laughs> Why is there no background music right now? Because I haven't started it up yet. We'll actually be right back while I get this set up. So give me one second. Let me just send us to break and then we'll get the music going and all that. Similar to how Lena would have you believe, I am unable to experience joy. I meant express. <laughs> Except through burping. Express joy. <laughs> You're stupid, dude. And longer is funny. It was just a short one. I'm back. I guess I should have uh, swapped models, but it's fine. There we go. That should be good. Let's go about there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what hero do I want to equip, actually? <laughs> Lifeguard skin and pirate skin. I wish I liked Corvus better. Uh, how can you be sure? I mean, I'm reacting to your messages right now, so that should help. 
I like Ezeli a lot. Uh, let's go with Ezeli. Benjamin is good for money, not much else. He's not that good of a hero either, sadly. All right. I don't know what all this stuff is, but I love the playing through this stuff. So double HP mobs will be a difficult one. Also, when are we returning to the insane asylum dressed as the dressed as a bat? Uh, hopefully like starting next week. This week I was just doing an easy stream since, you know, I had to stream for a super long time. So, yeah. We're, we're taking a gradual return to, like, the bigger games. It's the bats! I love the Sayu music. It's so good. All of it. Every single version of the song is so good. Yeah, I just, I love it. I also just love Bloons Tower Defense because it's easy for turning my brain off and just enjoying the sights of things happening. You can rotate this, but I don't actually know if it does anything. I'm probably taking a break from being the clown puncher for other games. For right now, but like I said, we're probably going to start that up next week. Okay, so I need to definitely see about getting more... Oh, shit. I need more monkeys on the field soon. Uh, let's just start immediately with fire up here. You mean after the asylum? No, yeah, I figured that's what you meant. I don't know. We'll see. It really just depends. Okay. We'll have those uh, hot shots on there in no time. there's really strategies for this game you know i mean i know there are but i feel like it's just whatever towers you think work best usually like there's probably towers that are like you need to get these towers and have them built this way but like i don't know it's not really how i work I have tower combos I like and tower like paths that I enjoy and I just go with that. You feel like you're already running out of silliness? Aw. Well, I guess we just gotta ramp up the silliness. Uh, how do you ramp up silliness? Not entirely sure, but I can find a way. Oh, you know what? Let's just set you up over here. And then I'm definitely giving this the larger service area.
Perfect. It's all coming together. Drink! Yes, I will drink more water. Thank you. Water is always good. Um, let's go ahead and throw up one of our favorite into the line defenses. song is this furious gods interesting i like it hollow knight has such good music okay uh and then i would definitely like another druid that i will set up like right here question mark or would i prefer them over here This should be fine. Yeah, this would be fine. You don't know, you never played it. It has great music, I promise. It has great gameplay too, but I'm not that good at it. <laughs> Druid of the Jungle is such a good upgrade path. Okay, perfect. Let's go ahead and throw down some ninjas down here. Oh, I was like, why don't I hear them popping anything anymore? It was camo. I need 2700 for that. 2900 for that. 1900 for that. 5200 for that. That's 1800. Got it. Never mind. Uh, I guess let's throw up more ninjas. Nice. I'm not going to sit there and act like that was easy because it wasn't. But, uh, we did it. So that's good. Imagine having a second thing doing all the work. What do you mean? Like cheating in a game or like what? Like the yellow thing. Oh, yeah. That is doing a lot of the work for me. I won't lie. I don't know. It's not doing all of the work. It's just helping out a lot. We're going to turn this into an impenetrable wall. Of ninjas.
Did that not increase your range? Attack speed. I went down the wrong upgrade path. There we go. Okay. Uh, definitely more than seven ninjas. Well, yeah, there's seven ninja. Oh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, there's seven ninjas here. There's just eight total. That's what I meant. Uh. On the Helsing question, Alucard would probably lose. He did kill almost every werewolf, but the captain was enhanced by the doctor's experiments, giving him greater durability and the ability to become a ghost-like haze. Okay, how did the captain lose then? Because Alucard was the trump card of Helsing. So there's nobody stronger than Alucard in Helsing. So if he lost to someone in Helsing that was not Alucard, then I don't know. Must not have been as strong as Alucard. Silver. Yeah, that's every werewolf's weakness. Did Halucard not have silver? Could you defeat me in a sword fight? I don't know. I'm not very athletic, so I don't really count on myself winning in stuff like that, you know? There we go. Wes, you gotta know. So uh, and then I definitely want to set up you. Yeah, I, I don't think I could really beat anyone in a sword fight, personally. Perfect. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move him over here. Oh, right. They're too big of a unit. They don't fit in there. Your career from scratch and made it higher and higher. 
until NSR had to step in and kill that blazing fire. They knew you were dangerous. There we go. Alucard bullets were copper. You could beat a child. Well, yeah, I could beat a child. I guess, yeah. Okay, but Alucard could get silver bullets, right? Like, that's not that big of a, you know, of an ask. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I don't know. It's... That's kind of a stretch to act like you can't just get silver bullets, you know? Oh man, those guys don't fit in there either. That strategy won't work like I hoped. There we go. True, but Sarah's Victoria also didn't have silver bullets. Yeah, that won't work like I hoped it would. I'll just have to do it like this. No, that's a fair point as well, though. I don't know, it just feels weird that he wouldn't have access to silver bullets as well. You know? I mean, they are like... Something that is made to hunt down vampires and other like supernatural forces. An organization, that's what I'm thinking of. So you'd expect them to still have silver bullets, but I guess not. Let's put down another one of these. Perfect. 
Perfect. Also, no one knew the captain was a werewolf until he fought Ceres. Okay, but there were other werewolves there, right? Like, even if silver bullets are mostly to be saved for werewolves, like, they'll still work on non-werewolves. He was the last natural werewolf. So are the unnatural werewolves not weak to silver? That's weird. That's really weird. They're not easy to manufacture. So there weren't that many werewolves there. You don't know vampires are hot, that's all you know. I mean, I guess fair. I guess fair on that. What a response. I don't know what... Vampires are hot. You would definitely be tricked and die. Well, I don't know. I might. Who knows? I don't know, I'm just naturally wary of other people, even if I'm kind. I grew up with a parent that like trained me to be like paranoid of all situations. That's not a good thing. It's just the truth. God damn, look at me go. No, that's not gonna help. Oh, I won. Look at that. <laughs> I was like, huh, what tower would best help in this situation? And then I just won. Millennium could have made werewolves, we just don't know, but we do know they tried and failed. Oh no, everything's so scary. We <laughs> I don't know. I never finished reading Helsing. I only own volume one and two of the really big books. Uh, ah, here we go. Uh, makes total sense that this map would have, uh, would have this. Man, I've done surprisingly good at this. Oh. Cool. 
It's definitely going to be tough then. Fuck. So it's begun. Note to self, get more than just that starting out. Okay. I don't know how this works. Yeah, pink, pink thingy is definitely useful for this. For starting out tower. Now it's the end of the show, a la carte, then he solos. Well, were we not... Were we not basing it off of end of the show stats? Oh, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> there we go. <sighs> Crisis averted. Was it already not solo? Another good question. Can you imagine the nightmare of dealing with an actual soda river or chocolate river? Like, that would get so nasty so quickly. Nope, we were going based on when the Nazis invaded England. Okay, yeah, I guess that's not the end of the show, but that's pretty damn close. But no, I get what you mean. You're like, before uh, Alucard didn't die, but everybody acts like he did. Yeah, I still got those spikes down. Oh, you know what I can do now? Throw out Ezeli and then also get... I'm going to actually set this one up over here. Esley's going to come very much in handy for both. Uh, I forgot about that. Where would it be going, though? To be honest, it looks like it's not moving. No, it's moving. It's just very slow. I don't know. It's probably like real water where it doesn't look like it's moving quickly. And then you get down beneath that and it's like... Thwing! Unlocking hot shots will be a very good investment. So will setting up a sniper. Basically before Alucard absorbed Schrodinger. That's it. That's what I was talking about.
Okay, there we go. It can now pop metal. I never think about how dangerous lead balloons would actually be, you know? Like, lead is a very dangerous, uh, thing. It is poisonous. But no, I get it. Before Alucard became essentially, actually immortal. And unkillable. Which he was on the verge of doing anyways, so... Okay, what should I invest in next? Probably you, and I can set you up around, like, here. Actually, around... Well, no, I'd prefer around, like, here. Uh, what's the lore of this game? You are monkey, don't let balloon pass. That's the only lore I know. Not what I wanted. Oh, Shimmer is going to come so much in handy, especially since look at that range. Yes. Uh, what would be another good one? Probably you. Oh, shit. Okay, we're okay still. Oh, my God. How are we okay still? Oh, that was scary. Oh my God. You can place a spikes factory near the loops. That's what I was thinking. I mean, that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> you were typing. I'm sorry. Why balloon bad? I don't know. Balloon do bad thing. I don't know why balloon is bad. Balloon just do bad thing. Ask balloon why balloon do bad thing. <laughs> Could I read your message before doing that so you can get credit for it? I mean, I'll give you credit because you were typing, so, like, there's your credit. Whew! Now we have the Druid of Storm set up, which makes me feel less like I'm in immense danger. And large caliber, please. Bam. <laughs> uh, can't I put water units in the river? I can. I just haven't yet. But that is also a good point. 
I should start doing that. Uh, the question is, which water units do I want where? I mean, probably, I guess... Let's get this set up here. Perfect. That's going to help a lot. Get another one set up. Another one. You will be this upgrade path. And you will be this upgrade path. Perfect. It's all coming together now. Put it where it covers both lanes. Well, what I'm thinking is I'm going to have the mermaids focus on these areas and have just a giant horde of money-gathering ships right here. But I like your idea. Schrodinger's ability isn't stated in the show as to what it can do, but it ba it's basically he can exist any everywhere and nowhere at the same time. Right. I thought it was just that he's essentially a both alive and dead at all times. Man, what surprisingly somber music. Thank you, uh, Hollow Knight, for the music that really sets a tone of we are in grave danger. But yeah, I'm going to have these pirates get me as much money as possible. That too? Okay. Uh, in my opinion, does one cease existing upon death? Yeah, I don't believe in an afterlife. I don't follow any religions or anything. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. I'm trying to see how, if I can fit one more, like, right here. I guess not. Right there. There we go. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is start saving up money and turn these into a bunch of merchantmen. So it's the same thing. To me. To me, yes. I mean, personally, I don't care if anyone follows a religion. Believe whatever you want to. I just don't. You believe that I'm handsome? Oh, mm, thank you. In your opinion, ceasing to exist is like getting erased from existing while dying is either going to heaven or hell? Well, yeah, I don't believe in heaven or hell, though, so... Plus, you know, robots don't really have souls, so even if I did believe, 
I'm not going anywhere. Right? If if there's heaven and hell, then how do you get exi just completely erased? Perfect. That's working out how I need it to. And now that I'm making a ton of extra money, it might be a good time to start investing in submarines and then mermaids because the mermaids are going to fill up all of this. So the submarines are going to act as support back here. Except for one sub that I'm going to put like right here in the middle. There we go. One submarine there, one submarine here. And there we go. In your opinion, the concept of not existing anymore cannot coexist with any concept of afterlife because they imply you keep existing, just not on a mortal plane anymore. That's a fair assessment. Like I said, personally, I just don't believe in an afterlife. Or if there is an afterlife, I don't believe in anything that, like, any of the religions push. I forgot to upgrade this guy. <laughs> Death will always be a mystery to those living. Exactly. So I don't really care to try and figure it out. I'd rather just enjoy my life. Here we go. I gotta double check something. Nail gun and sentry shots do extra damage to mob class. Got it. You believe in reincarnation because being reborn as a house cat would be cool. Otherwise, you don't believe in it. You just try to live the best life you can before death comes for you. Exactly. That's all I care about is just live a good life I can be happy with. There we go. There we 
That's your way of living? Hey, that's a good enough way of living for me. I don't know. I just care more about having the freedom to live my own life than trying to follow any specific, like, moral code or anything. I have my own moral code where I'll try not to harm others and I'll try... And I'll try not to be harmed by others. And I'll just try to do things that I think will be best for everybody. I don't know. I prefer not to get absorbed into nihilism because, like, the whole point is that there's an end to it. Nihilism only works if there was no end because what's the point of doing anything if you know you're never going to have it come to a conclusion? All lives will end, so the whole point is to enjoy it before that ending. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't feel like acting like there's no point to life when there's so many good things in the world to enjoy. Personally. Range or heavy bombs? Probably heavy bombs. I'm doing pretty well. I don't know. I think it's just kind of easier to see the point of life as being improvement to yourself and to the world around you. Faster attack speed, or do I want? Nah, I probably want the icy. Actually, you know what? Let's swap these. So let's have you go here and you'll go and faster attacking. And then this one goes here and gets in the ice. To be honest, your dream is just to be loved by someone and them happy. Ma and make them happy. Hey, that's not a bad dream to, to strive for. It's not meaningless if you just live your life to its fullest. It makes you feel like you did something in life. Exactly. 
Uh, let's go ahead and take another short break, and then we'll be uh, back after the ad break. So funny. I genuinely thought you were like, cool, when I turn around, they're going to be there. I... <laughs> In my head, I was think? like, they're probably going to be there when I turn around. And then there they were. For a second there, I thought, oh, please, for the love of God, clip that. Please remember to clip that. Okay, I, I, I have to scroll back a bit, but I can clip it. Oh, if you want to now. I mean. Okay, he's going for the save then. Uh, my third son, It's Lexi, uh, is going for the save. Ah, uh, you got me. That was clever. Oh, my fucking build! A uh, build. My thing! My shard! My shards! My shards! Where's my shards? Woo! <laughs> Objection. Hold it. <laughs> what else does he say? Take that. Take that. <laughs> I hope you're all having a lovely evening. Big fan of your choice of piercings. You know, honey. You know, sweetie. You know, snookums. I'm just not. I'm happy that you're able to express yourself. I just don't like it that much. But it's your choice, and I'll support you. And if anybody else ever insults them, I'm going to kick their ass for you, okay, honey? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello, Dwight. Night's male wife. Okay. Damn, why can't I you be that. my male wife? Can be. <laughs> A croissant s'more. Did someone say pre? I'm gonna pre. Beach to it. Damn. <laughs> Dang. Beach it to it. I prayed first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm finally out of blood points. <clears throat> Strangers. So just any random person, even if they're like, help me, you just leave them. I mean, I guess I can't necessarily fully blame you there, but, like, it still sucks as an idea. During adventure time is not Betty. Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Epic. I did no! it. I, I always choose the one hole that leads nowhere. That, That's uh, me in high school. Oh. He's the villain, right? Yes. The entire time has had, uh, like, one redeeming quality, and it, he runs an orphanage. Aw. Side note, that orphanage did horrible to exist. It's a miracle I haven't broken Pearl's tiny little back. Well, I'm still here, and my back is not broken, so... I think I'm fine. I did set up a few more towers in the meantime. I didn't start another round though. I was waiting for ad break to end. You said if there was another. Fair enough. Well, there was another break though. Oh, if there's another break, I see. Okay, never mind.
<laughs> I make so much money every round now. God damn, their range is massive. Oh, cool. Ooh, you know what? That one. Oh, fuck. That was scary. Those were going through there really quickly, and I got a little scared there. Oh, my God. Nothing stands a chance. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we're definitely getting into the scarier parts of this. Uh, you fill in Hatchet and what happened to Mooples because they didn't know. Ah, oh, dang. Yeah, it's hard to believe it's been like two months already. Holy fuck! Oh my god. It's getting intense! getting real fucking intense. Okay. Um, now would be a good time to set up this. get this upgrade very quickly. There it is. Woo! That feels safer now. And then it would also be a good time to set up this near the end.
Holy crap. Okay, final round. It's last two rounds. Actually. Yeah, final round right now. Do you think we can do it? Where are these blue monkeys? Uh, they're mermaids. Oh my god, I think we did it. Yeah! Hell yeah! Victory for us. Okay, I'm just going to double check to see if I've unlocked enough experience on these guys for another unlock. I've not. That's the only one I need left. And that one costs... Oh, I'm almost there. Pos Popsidon's Ice Jet ability draws such power that Rogue Wave floods the map with super cooled water, freezing all balloons and reclaiming the weak for the sea. Okay. Well, that's a good enough place to call it for the night. So if there's any recommendations on who to raid, make sure to put those in chat now because I'm going to be scrolling through Twitch to see who's live. Let's go ahead and make our way over to the end screen real quick. Let's see who is live right now. Uh, ooh, Tuxumi got a new model. That's cool. Uh, Wolf Angelus, Liraku, Liraku, uh, Leon Foxtails. Sons of the Forest is cool. Um, you know what? Let's just enjoy some Mario and Luigi Dream Team. What's the beat dreaming about? Sheep. Uh, because robots do dream of electric sheep. Okay, we're going to raid Scott Falco because I love his stuff. And <laughs> he is. Yeah, nice job. Uh, we're going to go ahead and enjoy some uh, Mario and Luigi Dream Team. So I will see you guys tomorrow for that super special uh, stream that I announced yesterday and let's go have some fun. Good night. Or I guess we're not leaving yet. But yeah, thank you all for being here as always. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. A wonderful night tonight and I will see you all then. Now let's go ahead and say bye-bye. <laughs>